right, welcome back. So after my experience with the SIG X10 and double tap 230 grain. So it's rated to 1120 feet per second. I don't know if you recall, I wasn't able to seat a 15 round mag in the SIG X10. And when I did, it hung up on the feed ramp and refused to feed. The springs wouldn't hold tension on the rounds until the 10th round was, uh, was up at the top. So I had to unload five rounds to make the mag function. And then I tested five rounds and it ran. So as you know, I was only able to get one box of that double tap in town. I just can't find it anywhere, the 230 grain. So we're gonna go ahead and use the last 15 rounds. I loaded it up. As you know, the Springfield XDM Elite holds 16 rounds. So I was able to load up 15 rounds and I'm gonna see if this will seat and if this will run. All right, so we have the 15 rounds in the Springfield, obviously not topped off to 16, so it's not totally a fair comparison. We got the double tap. Let's see if that will feed. So that fed just fine. You can see I got 230 grain, bit of wondrousness in the chamber. And we're gonna go ahead and just start this test and see what we chrono out of this and see if it runs the 230 grain hard cast too. Um, also, just an FYI, when I loaded this magazine, I noticed that it loaded into the magazine a lot easier than the SIG rounds were too. So maybe Springfield built in a slightly more generous internal dimension to fit, I'm guessing, a slightly longer overall length on these double tap 230 grains. I'd have to go home and put the calipers on it to see if they really are. Uh, again, too, it's worth noting that no problem seating, seating the magazine with this gun, no problem at all, unlike the SIG. So, all right, let's test these five and see how they run. Here we go. One thousand seventy four, it looks like. Ooh, I got a malfunction. So that was the second round out of the 15th. So after the 14th round shot, the 13th round malfunctioned with these 230 grain double tap. So let's clear this. You can see there. Uh, let's see if there's any, see if you can see the, the lead's been damaged at the tip. So I'm just gonna put this one to the side and try to run the last two and see if we can get some readings on it, but that's interesting. So 230 grain double tap, maybe not a go for your bear defense, I'm guessing. 1,064. One thousand sixty nine. So I'm going to stop there because I want to do this with the Smith as well, but very interesting that it malfunctioned between the 14th and 13th round. So very interesting. You don't know unless you do it, I guess. All right, well, I appreciate it. I'm looking forward to your comments. What you think of the Springfield XDM Elite 4.5 OSP is an option now. Uh, just maybe just not running it with 230 grain might be a good idea. All right, as always, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Check out the description below for links to my Patreon and my Teespring. I appreciate you joining me on the journey. I'm looking forward to the comments on this one. LW Road, out.